Lloyd in Space is an American animated television series, created by Joe Ansola Bahir and Paul Germain, previous creators of Recess, and premiered in 2001 on ABC TV on Saturday mornings. The pilot was written by Ansola Bahir, Germain, and Mark Drop. The characters were designed by Eric Keyes. Reruns have aired on Toon Disney until 2006, when it was replaced by The Emperor's New School. Topic. Premise Living far in the future, shortly after the end of World War IX, Lloyd Nebulon is a green-skinned alien of the verdigreen race with pointy ears and a single antenna sticking from his head. Lloyd lives in the Intrepidville Space Station along with his telekinetic and telepathic little sister Francine and his mother, Commander Nora Lee Nebulon, the head of Intrepidville. Lloyd's friends are Eddie R. Horton, a red-haired teenage human, Kurt Bloberts, an enormous purple blob with a single eyeball and simple intelligence, of a species known as the Blobolans, and Douglas McNoggin, a giant brain with limbs and a face, of a species known as the Cerebellians. Topic. Production. Topic. Early success Lloyd in Space was first introduced in early 2001 during Disney's One Saturday Morning on ABC. The show received higher ratings than initially expected, prompting Disney to quickly order additional episodes some of which would air in the second season. Topic. Cancellation Lloyd in Space finished production in 2003, after the one Saturday morning block was removed. The final episodes aired in February 2004. Topic. Episodes Topic. Characters Topic. Main characters Lloyd P. Nebulon voiced by Cortland Mead is an average 13-year-old boy of the verdigreen species. Despite being a friendly, well-meaning character and his mother's leadership over Intrepidville, he and his group are considered the dorks of their class at Luna Vista Middle School and, in many of the school-related episodes, are often subjected to embarrassing circumstances against their will or intention. Such instances involve or result in teasing and disrespect at the hands of their shallow classmates of the more socially powerful circle. Lloyd has a crush on his classmate Brittany Boviak, the popular yet conceited head cheerleader who, despite often verbally and emotionally abusing Lloyd, secretly reciprocates his feelings. Commander Nora Lee Nebulon voiced by April Winchell is the commander of Intrepidville and Lloyd's single mother. She is strict, loving, kind and caring. Lloyd's father never appeared in the series. Francine Nebulon voiced by Nicolette Little is Lloyd's younger sister. She loves her doll Rosie, and loves to use her telekinesis and telepathy, especially to tease her big brother Lloyd. Her favorite TV show is The Daisy Droid Girls, a parody of The Powerpuff Girls. Station voiced by Brian George, is the space station's computer. When activated, he assumes the form of an eyeball attached to a long wire leading from any computer terminal. 
Station has a tendency to be fairly anxious and distant to those around him. Edward R. Eddy Horton, voiced by Justin Shankara, is Lloyd's human best friend. He has wavy orange hair and tries to act in a cool manner. His father is a police officer. Douglas McNoggin, voiced by Pamela Hayden, is a member of the cerebellian species who resembles a brain with glasses, arms, and legs and one of Lloyd's friends. While he is the most intelligent character in the show, he is also the least athletic. Kurt Blobberts, voiced by Bill Fogerbach, is Lloyd's large, one-eyed friend of the Blobolin species. While sometimes dim-witted, Kurt is a caring and generous boy, but is usually treated the same as the rest of his group of friends. His head can be removed from his body and still function. Topic: <laughs> Villains. The Zepter's Bandit, voiced by Danny Cooksey, is a lowly criminal. He robs Zepters, a local eatery, before he is caught by the police. Frentok, voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, is a space pirate who holds Lloyd and his friends hostage. He is eventually thwarted by Commander Nebulon, Lloyd's mother. The Pickpocket is a criminal that appears in Eddie's memory in the final episode of the show. He is caught by Eddie's dad. Kurtless is the fusion between Douglas and Kurt due to Lloyd's suggestion. At first Kurtless defends the weaker and smaller kids at school from Rodney and the other bullies but all this fame goes to his head and becomes the school bully himself. He is stopped by Lloyd in the end. The Preditalian is a monster which attacks and infects Intrepidville from the year X-27 to X-37. If one scratched or bit another life form they too would become monsters. In the episode The Preditalian appears, it is merely an illusion created by Francine to scare Lloyd and his friends, provided by Boomer's Comics. Topic. Supporting characters Dunkirk voiced by Dan Castellaneta, is second in command of the space station. He is a tough and obedient prominent aide to Commander Nebulon. Larry voiced by Eddie Deason, is the other one of Commander Nebulon's prominent aides. He is a purple humanoid who frequently acts childishly. Boomer, voiced by Diedrich Batter, is the mechanic who repairs all the spacecrafts on Intrepidville. He is fairly simple-minded. It is revealed in Boomer's Secret Life that he is the heir to his race's throne, but he turned his title over to his brother Sleevenot. Lou 2000, voiced by John DiMaggio, is Station's bad-mouthed backup system. When in use, he frequently picks on Larry. Brittany Boviak, voiced by Andy McAfee, is a rich, six-armed Skitskian girl who is the captain of the cheerleading squad. She is also revealed later in the series to have a secret crush on Lloyd. Although she secretly likes Lloyd, she verbally and emotionally abuses him, giving the impression that he is not worthy of her time. Megan Uno, voiced by Rachel Crane, is Brittany's best friend with a single eye stock. She is usually with Brittany wherever she goes, and most of the time she is slightly more sour than Brittany herself and surprisingly more shallow in terms of boys. Cindy is a girl with two heads, one head is nice, polite, and charming, and the other head tends to be cruel, impolite, and abusive. Cindy is arguably one of the few recurring students to be a friend to Lloyd's group. 
Her good head is voiced by Tara Strong, while her bad head is voiced by Mayim Bialik. Eileen, voiced by Michelle Horn, is a girl who has three eyes and four tentacles on the lower half of her body instead of arms and legs. Rodney Glaxer, voiced by Warren Shroka, is the four-armed school bully who is also the captain of the Luna Vista Crushball team. He favors picking on nerds, particularly Mendel, though he has no general qualm or limit when it comes to making trouble for those who are smaller, weaker, or even lack the confidence to stand up to him. Towards the end of the series, Rodney is revealed to be the reason for Lloyd's low standing in the popularity social scale, as he tripped Lloyd in first grade when he was a new student, causing him to stumble and fall on Brittany's finger-painted picture getting him laughed at by the rest of class and resulting in Brittany's typical grief of him in the future. Mendel, voiced by Blake McIver Ewing, is one of the nerds at Luna Vista and the main target of Rodney's bullying. He often hangs out with his nerd friends such as Lou and Benny, as well as other usually unpopular kids. Mrs. Barbara Bolt, voiced by Tress McNeil, is Lloyd's teacher at Luna Vista Middle School. She is a cranky robot who gets very uptight when Lloyd or any other student is messing around. Mr. Stinko, voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, is the garbage man of Intrepidville. Charmaine is a female cerebellion. She is seen as a very intelligent character, and often is involved in debates against other schools, often with partner Douglas. She is friends with Douglas, Cindy and Missy. Missy is a blowbullen who resembles Kurt in many ways, she has one eye and purple skin. However, she is slightly smaller than Kurt. She and Kurt seem to like each other as shown in Double Date. He compliments her saying she is neat. She is friends with Cindy, Charmaine and Kurt. Leo Andromedos, voiced by Brian Doyle Murray, is the grandfather of Lloyd and Francine and the father of Nora. He is the closest thing to a father figure Lloyd has. Jake is one of Rodney's friends. Jake, like Rodney, is also a bully and one of the crater worm jocks on the school's crushball team. Marcus Zenon is another one of Rodney's friends who is also a bully. Marcus, like Eileen, is a green, three-eyed, octopus-like alien, only without hair and having a more frequent tendency to moving bipedal. Violet, voiced by Ashley Johnson, is a girl who is friends with Brittany and Megan. Violet tends to be more shy than the other girls of her class and she even reveals in the season 2 finale that she has a crush on Lloyd, though this was never mentioned again afterwards. According to this same episode, she is president of the school yearbook staff. Topic. Cast Cortland Mead as Lloyd Bill Fogerbach as Kurt Brian George as Station Pamela Hayden as Douglas Nicolette Little as Francine Justin Schenkera as Eddie April Winchell as Nora <laughs> <laughs> Additional voice cast <laughs>